Mini, it's here. I won, I won. Yeah. Oh. I won, and now I'll have the fun. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? I won the father and the son cruise on the ocean. I won, I won, I won, I won. Hello, anyone home at the meatball residence? You don't have a son, Wally. <gasps> What I gonna do? You can be my son! Are you nuts? Oh, my little sunny boy. Fruit of my loins. Think of the swimming, the tennis, the three deluxe swimming pools. Nah, I... swimming, huh? And the free, oh, you can eat smorgasbord. Oh, you can eat, huh? And these exotic port o' call. Exotic ports? Wow! You will do it? Not a chance. <laughs> Wally, buddy, there's only one way I'd ever go on a cruise with you. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulate your father and son? Of course we're father and son. You think I'd be with him otherwise? Oh, uh, sorry. We have to be careful. We found a fake father and son on our last cruise. But we took care of them. They spent the entire trip in the brig eating nothing but bread and water. The brig? This is stupid, Ford Packer. We're gonna get caught. Don't talk with your mouth full, Junior. <laughs> Kids. Can't live with them? Can't convince them to run away with the circus. Father and son, huh? If they aren't, I'll have them in the brick by sunset. Ah, this is the life. They hate being the child. Ah, quit your complaining, or next time I'll leave you home. Leave me home! This is my cruise. <laughs> oh, uh, time for the sunscreen, son. I think your meatball is frying. Would your son care to join the others in the pool? Little Wallace loves playing with other kids, don't you, Wallace? <laughs> Boy, you're sure big, Wally. Bet you aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> Your big chunks could sink this ship. <laughs> oh, Wallace, son, are you sure you don't want to dive like all the other kids? We want big chunks. We want big chunks. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> this way, son. You sit here. Hey, Von. This is some cruise, all right, Wally. Huh? <laughs> Look, the space shuttle. Oh, boy. Where? Must have yours missed it. Ah, who cares? They brought me a fruit drink. <laughs> ah! Huh? Are you ready to order, sir? Am I ever? I'll take a big steak smothered in onions with french fries, corn on the cob, and something special for dessert. Yeah, me too, me too. Children order from the little sailor's menu. Um, Wallace will have a grilled cheese sandwich, an extra large helping of cream spinach, strained squash, and a big glass of buttermilk. But I don't want... Whoa, did you hear that? Sounds like my little boy has gotten a hoarse voice from all the sea air. <laughs> uh, just as I thought. My boy needs vitamins. Give him spinach. Spinach and more spinach. 
And for dessert, a delicious Bavarian chocolate cake. Uh-uh. Finish your dinner, Wallace. Who's the big boy who cleans his plate? I'm the big boy who cleans his plate, you bet! <laughs> yeah. But now... Uh-uh-uh. You didn't finish your whole dinner. Oh. <laughs> this was the stupidest idea you ever had! <laughs> I should have been the papa. You're too immature. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are! No, I am. No, I am! Okay, you are. I'm sure you both love our brig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you be the father. Figure out a way to get us home. Don't start with me, Woodpecker. Look! We're safe! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! no. Mother-daughter cruise! Oh, 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 oh. Woodpecker! Since Mom retired from the Corps. Carry on. Huh? Wait a minute. You don't look Army issue, boy. No frick, frick, paddywhacking way. That chow's for military stomachs only, and you're not. <gasps> the General. Patty, Sergeant. But not two at ease. Military intelligence is at this moment tracking a super spy who's gonna try and steal our military secrets. I need a crack counter spy who'll use all the tricks of the trade to stop him from sneaking onto our base. Yes, sir, sir. You can count on me, sir. Sergeant, you have a non regulation penguin on your helmet. Uh, sir, I, I can explain this. Tuxedo Boy here infiltrated the base looking for a free meal on the government of the U.S. of A. And I'm not about to let that happen, sir. <laughs> Oof, that's worse than a boil on a sunburn. I think we found our operative. What? He infiltrated your perimeter, soldier. That means he's tricky, sly, and clever. But, General, sir. Plus, he's cute and innocent looking. No one would ever suspect him of being a counter-spy. Oh, and best of all, he likes you, Sergeant. Carry on, Sergeant Hogwash. You train him to be a super spy by nightfall, and there's a big promotion in it for you. Fail, and you'll be cleaning latrines after the annual chili cook-off. <laughs> Little Grunt's gone AWOL! And he's taking my promotion with him! There'll be no towel until... Drag me the wool, drag me quick. Get out of my way. I'm gonna be sick. Hey, lesson one. You eat after I train you. Now, to be a good spy, you gotta have a good disguise to disguise yourself. Now, in so doing, you'll convince the enemy that you are... <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever seen in this man's army. <laughs> huh? 
Where'd that little spy in disguise get to now? Mm. Little spy's learning quick. But master of disguise or no, he can't snow job the old Sarge. Time to melt this boy's snowbank. Strip search! Ah! <laughs> Chili had a little bomb whose button made it go. And everywhere that Chili went, it made the Sarge say, Wah! No knee high spy's gonna get free chow on my face. No siree. Now. A good spy's got to speak many foreign languages. So what's your native tongue, boy? Oh. Aha! You speak the universal language of food. Good. Now get fluent, boy, so that I can get my promotion from the general. Then all that food can be yours. What do you say? Ah! Quick around it! Dig in! Why, you little stunt monkey? Come here, you! Ray around the rosy, pocket full of posies. This is my chance for the promotion. I need a disguise. I need to parley vous in a foreign tongue. hi -ya! I need to take this joker out, mano, a mano, a mano. No, wait, that's too many manos. Where'd he go? No problemo. A crack counter spy like me can always track his man anywhere. I was just giving the Sarge a test. But it looks like you passed with flying colors. Flushing me out with this fine smelling chow. What a brilliant idea! I'm putting you in charge of security around here, Chili. <laughs> security and chow detail. <laughs> The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Hogwash. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. a suitable ride and race your way to fun and fortune. Hmm, if I only had something to race. We got this race sewn up. Remember to lay back till the last turn. Tell me again why you aren't the one running. Psst, Pally, how'd you like to buy a genuine champion racer for, say, 20 bucks? 20 bucks to win a fight. Hey, how do I know you're not trying to cheat me? Why would I want to cheat a smart woodpecker like you? Stall 13 is where you'll find your winner. Ciao! No! A classic shell game. <laughs> Bowie! Bucks. Yeah. 
get lost. Okay, then I'm riding you in the big race, bub. Now giddy up. I'm not a riding clam, woodpecker. I'm a eating clam. Then I'm promoting you. Because you were faster than a greyhound on roller skates when you took off with my dough. You're right, Red. And truth is, I'm faster than you are smart. <laughs> oh, he's an eating clam, is he? All righty. Then dinner is about to be served. Mm. Give me peanuts, popcorn, falafels, cotton candy, caramel apples. Step right up for the best hot dogs at the fair. Give me a dog and load it. Ketchup, relish, onion, hot sauce, steak sauce, sausalito, chilies, chili pepper, pepper spray, and hey, 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 have a good day. <laughs> Woohoo! Ride him, clam boy! Hey, next time you think you're big enough to swim with the clams, bring your floaties. <laughs> I'm starting to get an appetite for clams marinara. Hello, handsome. Say, you're good looking enough to be a movie star. How's about being my lean lady? Fresh. Yeah, <laughs> fresh from the sea. <laughs> you and me could be happy as clams together, doll face. <laughs> oh, but you know, a girl like me wants romance and flowers. <gasps> oh, Clammy, prove your love for me. Hey! We'll jump off Lover's Leap together. Hello, what are you making oysters in there? That clip's gotta be. <laughs> Wait for me, Lover Boy. Wait! You're that sucker. Woodpecker. Yep, and you're gonna ride me to fame and fortune, you bamboozling bottom feeder. Moments away from the start of the big country fair race and a last minute entry, Woody Woodpecker riding happy as a clam. And ah! <laughs> it's done her head by a nose, nose her by a head, and apples three for a dollar. <laughs> with Grandpa's dentures behind him. <laughs> oh, and that clam is gaining. I told you I was an eating clam. And now it's time I had your hide. But we're gaining, Clammy. We can win. And you could have any dish your heart desired. Woodpecker on a spit. Or woodpecker puff pastry. Or how about wet woodpecker stew? Hey, your horseshoe's untied. Huh? <laughs> it's coming down to the wire between necktie and happy as a clam. It's neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and neck. And it's Woody Woodpecker on happy as a clam. What a race! <laughs> now that you've won the race, Woody Woodpecker, what are you gonna do next? I'm having him for dinner. <laughs> 
Nothing goes better with spaghetti than clams. A thousand clams, split 50-50. Eh, minus the 20 you still owe me. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> is I finally had it with you. This time, you're out for good. If I can just borrow a black pen, I'll... I told you you're finished, Woodpecker. So, I've gone and rented the treehouse. To him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. Oh, you T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a um, hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh, ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little <laughs> cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... You ain't spoiling this for me. <laughs> Miss Meanie, I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handle the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker's up to now. <laughs> 
gotcha. Spinach souffle bites. My sweet. <laughs> Mickey boy. Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles. You're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles, Miss Minnie. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yep, 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 yep. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure. He got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? what? <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time bub? Uh, 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 Yump and yes, he yams. They've been robbed. Oh, uh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Have a left, have a left, promenade. That's my pocket watch. And my brooch. <laughs> Woodpecker! It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, no, no, you don't, Woodpecker! <laughs> you won't take advantage of my hospitality, you freeloading Spongebird! You walking boots wagon! Get back here! Get back here! Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail! Besides in which, we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her foresafe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past the mansion. Order! Order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I am sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the Youth Center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Weeky, we're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Auditions today. Five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your play, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But, boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know. I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired! Yay! We won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first rule of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Eh, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Fuzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Tweaky story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. 
Two splinter and not head. Ha ha! Yo ho ho! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. Oh, the pain. That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, pfft. This is art. Two splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Family! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Roger Ramco, nimble not head. Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene. Who's directing this show? You or me? Don't answer that. Now you play me, and you play Tweaky. No pirates, no flying woodpeckers. This is drama. Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. Oh, the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on sea block with a gorilla named Bubba. No, we'll never get to Broadway. There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by... Uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky. It's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle pirates! Oh, pirates! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> what a day! Nothing but fun in the sun and... Free fish fry! Oh, boy! That's for me! You hear about the free fish? Thanks for the free grub, bub. What you gonna eat tomorrow, sonny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. 25 bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an 
expertly. Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> boy! You're on, bub. <sighs> I'll catch a few of these, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. <laughs> oh, whoa, calm to Woody. Let's see. Ten letter word for sucker. I got it. Woodpecker. Sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Can't get up, you overgrown minnow. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary Lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're going to let me go? No how, no way! I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hi! Is it true there's 
a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trout. Stick right up. Give me hooks! I need plenty of bait! Hold a bigger net! Wasting their lives? Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. Ah! Ah! Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. Bye. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? <laughs> Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. But I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. Ah, oh, schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. <laughs> Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... 
You probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. <laughs> a hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. <laughs> All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yay! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... It's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh, uh -huh. yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs> My Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wooly. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Ooh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Voris knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
No wheel anywhere. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 Looks like we've got competition, Nothead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret. Just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bad <laughs> I better get a closer look at what's in that can. Swamp Gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? It's too yummy to be Swamp Gas. Oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, mm. yummy. Mm. It's too dark. I'll just... No! The big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Ooh, double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Forrest, one-time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta da! <laughs> Congratulations! What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Woody Woodpecker uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Twiggy. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no bow to doubt it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz Buzzard, president of Bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your, uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, uh, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Buzzard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Bizarre. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky, all we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you... You little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, yeah! oh, that Woody Woodpecker! His first day in Hollywood and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, oh, oh. They're uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Jungle Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. Will you 
one laughs, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on! Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! 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 Ruby Black Belt will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Baffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds! <laughs>